I gained more than 20 degrees just by circulating some water through some black tubing. Let's go check it out. So we've got a 40 degree air temperature right now and one of my water barrels was had ice over the top of it when I started this morning at about 11 o'clock. I did fill it up um, because it was dropping so the water started somewhere between 40 and 50 degrees. We have an air temperature of 40-ish outside it today. It's been sort of sunny. Let's see the setup. This is one of those pool heaters, and it's about three feet by three feet. And I have it on a mylar blanket to insulate the heat from going down to the ground. And here's my water bucket. Again, it's wrapped up with a mylar blanket to try to hold the heat in. I've got a one gallon per minute uh, water pump. It's a Chinese knockoff of a SureFlow hooked up to my 50 amp battery. That's much better. So we've used eight amp hours or, when is that? <clears throat> Since I started, you know, 20 something watts. Now, since the sun has gone down, this has dropped, but 20 minutes ago, this was at almost 70 degrees. And it's been running since 11 o'clock. So four hours, I got, you know, 20 or 30 degrees worth of gain just by circulating water through one of these heat pumps. So uh, this is a pretty simple and fun experiment. So as long as you got some sun, you can heat up water with very little power and just some rubber tubing. Pretty neat. Good morning, everyone. It's 11 o'clock and we have an air temperature of about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's do some science. How hot can we get this water just using one of these pool heating maps? So when I started, the water was 35 degrees and there was ice on the top of it. Now, just by circulating something through, we jumped up. 52 but I had to fill this about halfway up so like I said it's 11 o'clock we're gonna let this run for a day and see how hot we get it